Congressman Jeff Fortenberry spoke with residents of the Columbus area about a variety of topics Wednesday afternoon, including health care, the VA Choice Program, and the national debt. At the noon town hall meeting in the city council chambers, Fortenberry said there needs to be a new type of health care reform that reduces costs, while at the same time improves health outcomes for patients being treated. When persons have a medical home, they feel better and their outcomes are better. So this is a component of health care reform moving into the future that actually takes care of those who are least among us or who are, who are incapacitated and don't fit neatly into an insurance management mechanism for their health care needs. Residents also discussed concerns with the VA Choice Program, which is designed to allow veterans to seek medical treatment from their own personal doctors on a conditional basis. Interesting discussion today because many of the veterans here were interested in expanding this. Uh, this is uh, important for me to hear because we carry forward a very important legacy of VA health care. But we've got a lot, we, we don't just build out new buildings anymore. We try to look for ways in which we can innovatively partner with the private sector. Fortenberry also spent a chunk of time at the beginning of the town hall explaining and discussing the national debt and three things he believes are key to improving the situation. The three keys include reforming and simplifying tax code, having Congress deliver smart and effective public policies while at the same time eliminating wasteful policies, and reestablishing an economic growth model that allows for entrepreneurship. Fortenberry steered away from questions concerning the presidential race, said the town hall was held in order to discuss public policy, not politics. I had supported Carly Fiorina in the primary. I thought she was clear. I thought she had strong leadership potential. Uh, many people chose someone other than Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump. In fact, a statistic came out this week that only 9% of Americans have voted for either Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump. Fordberry says he doesn't wish to be associated with Donald Trump's unstudied remarks, but says he has done a remarkable job tapping into a deep anxiety throughout the country that is a result of people feeling left out of the current political and economic settlement. I would vote for him. However, the current dynamics are such that uh, he needs to focus back on the core issues at hand. I'm Columbus News Team's Granot, News Channel, Nebraska.